sell fruits and vegetables. It's fun most days, but hard work. I imagine so. They say Helgen got hit by a dragon. One of those horrors comes here. We'll be ready. Don't hear everything they tell you. Don't listen to everything they tell you. What? Dragons, huh? Right. Well met, kinsman. Well met. Dragons. I'm pretty sure whatever killed them in Solstheim killed them hello, here. Child of oh, hello. Bits and baubles for sale. All crafted by the best blacksmith in Skyrim. Let's see your wares, shall we? Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Very nice. I actually wonder if you could sell a few things for me here. Uh... Only that one, I think. <laughs> Those bluebirds you are knocking your base over. Now. You too. Lately, it seems I am more nurse than priestess, tending to those who have suffered both in mind and body from this terrible war. The healer, then. All right, this looks like it could be a shop of some description. Welcome to Bellathor's general goods. Welcome indeed. Oh, oh boy. Everything's for sale, my friend. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Well, he doesn't seem like a sleaze at all. All right, I have a bit of a uh, hmm, exotic goods from. Uh, from Solstein. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I am carrying around quite a bit of junk. Um, I have to do it. Let's see, do you have anything that I might be interested in? Let's find out. Actually... Do come back. I might. I might I not. For at the general goods store. I can see that. No, I'd rather like to see what... That looks like an apothecary. What else is around Nothing. here? And what of my son, hmm? What of Thorold? Is he nothing? So don't talk to me about suffering. Excuse me. Come see my collection of Grey Mane's finest trinkets. You'll not find their like in all Tamriel. Sorry, who are you talking to? Never had his fish and fowl. My son still lives, I feel it in my heart. So tell Interesting. Me, where is he? Come on in. Let me know if you need anything, or take a seat by the fire and I'll send someone what? over. Evgir Onslaught has come at last. The season unending. War without end. You speak at Morn. That's interesting. Hmm. Okay. If it's work you need, how about chopping up some wood for the fire? Huh, I don't I think so. I enjoy this work well enough, but I'm ready to retire. I've been thinking of self. Sure thing, it's yours for a day. Thank you. Uh, food also. Take a look. Do you know anything about that old woman who's missing her son? She was yelling at somebody in the market, but I couldn't see who. I'll probably go talk to her later. Let's see. Ah, uh, I think that's good. I'll show you to your room right this way. Oh, thank you. Well, hello. Lucky for you, that was just sitting there for the taking. What? That happened. Why do you have gray hair? Oh, did you need something? Why does she have gray hair? 
She's much too young for that, I think. After you. Uh, my voice is going. Let me know if there's anything else you need. I will. I don't remember the last time I've talked to this many people. Well, yes I do. Raven Rock. <laughs> Alright, let's try on this new armor, shall we? That's not bad, actually. That chest plate. Yeah, <laughs> I think if I think I may have pushed it out too far, but that'll do. That'll do. What? Okay. Interesting. Well, I could. I could turn in now. But I think I think what I'm going to do is get a bit of a drink and a bit of food. That's the last of my horker stew. I'm gonna have to find a way to get or make more, I think. It's still a bit early. Let's go catch Grey Maid before she turns in for the evening. Mm -hmm. Need something? Well, hello. That is a lot of people. I want to see you when you're done working. I really hope he wasn't talking to me. Huh. That could have been weird. Excuse me. All I can think about is my son, my sword. They say that he was killed, but I know better. I know my son is alive. Those battle-born, they're in with the Imperials. They know it too, and yet they lie to my very face. How do you know your son is alive? I just... I just know it. I can feel it in my heart. You have to believe me. Please visit me at my home. I can tell you the whole story. No, I believe you. I certainly do. A, uh, a mother's intuition is nothing to scoff at. That is a very red sunset. That does not bode well. Child of, child of who? Um... My father's name was Ulfregni, not Kinnereth. Oh, I wonder what happened to that thing. Hmm? Nice and curled up for the winter, I suppose. What? It's an honor. Who are you talking to? Well, that was weird. Okay. Hmm? I must have just missed him. I know your family's honor is important to you, but yes? we can't afford it. It took me weeks to find that thief's dead. I can't stop now. There are so many people here. My own. It's very loud. So you're willing to starve kind of cramped. To reclaim some rusty old sword? I, I just need to hire one, maybe I don't have any money. You Children. You give me five septums right now or I'm gonna bloody your nose. <laughs> She reminds no, me of my own Hilla. I really don't have any money, Brave. I'll give you ten septums tomorrow. Just don't hit me. Ten septums tomorrow. All right. How is it? It should not be that easy to lose an old lady in a town like this. I really should not be talking, but she does appear to be slightly older than me. Did she I go? I just want to go home and read. <laughs> well, then go home and. <laughs> All right then. <laughs> go home and read. Okay. This place, right? Welcome to our home. 
Mother, what's the meaning of this? Who have you brought into our home? Oh boy. Adelstein, put that down. She's here to help us find Thorold. How do we know she's not spying for the Battleborn? This was foolish. We can't trust anyone. Who knows what they'll do if they find me here? I can't take any more of this. No weapons, please. Let's just talk. All right, Mother. Can I help you? So, you're here to help? Well... Honestly, I'm not even sure what's going on. But I'll try. My brother Thorald. He was fighting for the Stormcloaks and went missing. Everyone assumes he's dead. But he's not. I just know it. The Imperials captured him, and they're holding him someplace. The Battleborns know where. I'd go and search their house for proof, but they want me to. I'd be captured, and then we'll never know what happened to him. So I need someone to find that proof for me. Oh, do you think I could be able to do that? Right. Why do you think the Battleborns are involved? The Battleborns. The Emperor's biggest bootlickers here in Whiterun. Their connections to the Empire and the Legion are well known. When Thorald didn't return home, there was no question in my mind. They knew Thorald supported the Stormcloaks, knew he was gonna aid them in battle, made sure he didn't come back. Locked him up someplace to get back at my family. I'm sure of it. That sounds a bit far-fetched to me. What kind of proof would you need? Anything that confirms that Thorald isn't dead, but is being held captive. I know those Battleborns have it. They'd be hiding it, of course. Wouldn't want it to get out that they've been lying this whole time. But you might be able to butter them up enough to lower their guard. Ha! <laughs> Are you kidding me? I look like a Grey Maid. Best if you didn't mention to anyone that you saw me here. Eh, don't worry. If only you could help bring my son back to me. Well, I'm going to try. What do you think the Battleborns are involved? It's hardly a secret that they have ties to the Empire and hate anyone who speaks out against it. Thoral did worse. He took action against the Empire, and the Battleborns knew it. Oh, dear. You take care of yourself now. Huh. <laughs> I'll try. Yes, she must be older than me. So it seems to be... Well, so it seems to be part family feud and part political tension. Why doesn't this surprise me? Seems the Nords here cannot get along no matter what they do. I mean, to be fair... Yes? Skull has problems of their own, but... Grey Mane or Battleborn? What? Oh. Ah, uh, Battleborn. Obviously. Then I say, well met, friend. I could tell you were a sharp one the moment I laid eyes on you. Right. Do you know what happened to Thoral Greymane by any chance? He fought on the wrong side and he paid for it. That's all I have to say. Well, I mean... Alright, but what really happened to him? Haven't you heard it by now? He made the mistake of supporting the Stormcloaks and it cost him. Bitter news for his family, but a fate they should have expected. You know, Stay safe. at this point, I'm kind of inclined to believe you. <laughs> I know how easy it is to die in this war. That said, Van Gander was fighting before Sworn, and not Imperials. Lady? Huh? Sorry. I must have been in her way. Oh, that's a lot of people. All right. Well, hello. Okay. Excuse me. Well met, kinsman. You live here, right? Aye, that I do. Half all my life. 
we Battleborns have been here since the beginning, along with the Grey Manes. Our family's been close as kin for generations, but Ulfric Stormcloak's uprising has divided us. Now, seems we can scarce look at each other without coming to blows. Petty and foolish, that. They are saying dragons have returned to Skyrim. Now that there, that's a real problem. More dragons, eh? So what do you know about Thorold Greymane? Oh, come on. Leave it alone. He's gone. There's no use in talking about it anymore. I wish everyone could just get past that and get on with their lives. You know, I, uh... I agree, to be honest. May your sword be sharp. And your tongue sharper. Yeah, you as well. They don't look like... Doesn't look like there are any more. Oh, there once was a hero named Ragnar the Red who came riding to Whiterun from old Rorik's stay. Oh, there's a lot of alliteration. And the braggart did swagger and brandish his brain as he told of both battles in gold he had made. Oh boy. But then he went quiet, did Ragnar the Red, when he met the shield maiden Matilda. I hope I can sleep with all that noise going on. 